look, look, to the forward look. Everything about it is brand new. All the country took to the forward look. And so, by Jiminy, will you. This was a little jingle used by Chrysler to sell their vehicles in 1955. And the Imperial hit the market with this brand new look aimed at breathing life back into the company. The Imperial was considered the Chrysler Corporation's luxury automobile brand and was their answer to their competitors' luxury automobiles, the Ford Lincoln and GM's Cadillac. Imperials had been around since 1926, but were always part of the Chrysler brand. However, in 1955, the Imperial had its first chance at becoming its own make, a standalone vehicle just the Imperial. Though they're often referred to as the Chrysler Imperial, they actually had no Chrysler badging on them until 1971. Look at this little detail here, the, the key, where you put your key, got a little, a little guard where you put your key in. <laughs> don't see that anymore. This one's doors don't open. That's all right. The door handles are sitting on the dashboard. <laughs> they sported a firepower V8 engine in Chrysler's first generation Hemi. A power flight automatic transmission, power brakes, and power steering were standard. And some of them even had air conditioning. Imperials were often considered superior to and more expensive than a Cadillac or a Lincoln, but they never actually sold very good. Something unique about them is that in the rear they had a freestanding gun sight taillights mounted above the rear quarters. These were also known as sparrow strainer taillights, named after something that was used to keep birds out of jet engines. They've been removed from this particular vehicle, but they were a fixture on the brand through 1962 and would have at one point been on this vehicle. The 1955 Imperial saw improvements in shipments from 5,761 cars in 1954 to 11,432 at the end of 1955. These old Imperials were the nice cars, man. You could tell. These old, these old triangle ventilation windows. Something unique about these Imperials, I think anyway, is of course, I already showed you this here, the little keyhole the protector. And then look how these doors open, right? Like how do you open that? How do you open that? You push this down, that pops open, and then open. <laughs> So oh, cool. It's got that old car smell. Okay. I mean, look at that. 1958, and the, the dashboard knobs are still on there. I've got a 2012 vehicle, and at least one of my knobs is already broken off. <laughs> Just don't make cars like they used to. Still open. Love compartment. <laughs> Amazing. The inside there, the logo. Imperial. 
living like a king driving one of these things back in the day. King of the road. Imperial. Imperial logo everywhere. In April of 1955, Chrysler and Philco announced they were developing the world's first all-transistor car radio. Chrysler Corporation and Philco recently broke the news of a startling new development in car radios. Phenomenal surface barrier transistors result in an auto radio that doesn't heat up and that has no tubes. And it sold as a $150 option a year after this model. Check out the horn. <laughs> I think that's the horn. <laughs> Chrome parts still shining for all these years. A little spit shine, that chrome would look brand new. I sometimes wonder, when I stumble across vehicles like this, how did the person feel as they drove this luxurious vehicle off the lot for the first time? The commercials from the time period said you would have felt 10 feet tall driving this car. But no matter how they felt back then, this vehicle had a lifespan. And like all the other cars in this lot, it's found its way to its final resting place. It may not run anymore, it may not make somebody feel 10 feet tall anymore. All the power is gone from it. But in the quiet of the junkyard, in the stillness of the fall day, I found it to be simply beautiful. Just like somebody else did when they bought it and drove it off the lot 63 years ago. So look, look to the forward look Everything about it is brand new. All the country took to the forward look. And so by Jiminy, will you. Could it be that this is still true today? So thanks for watching this episode of Matt's Rad Show.